Hello, I'm Arnie Tripoloni. This video is going to be about straight violin bowing technique. So, what is that? Okay, I'm going to play something for you, and I'd like for you to observe the parallel line of the bridge and the bow. So, the bow will be here, the bridge will be here. So why is it important to use the straight bows? Well, principally, it's because you'll be able to make a good sound with that, that kind of technique. But also, it will allow you to unlock more advanced techniques like staccato, um, martelet, and arguably even sautier. So there are a lot of videos with a bunch of tricks and products for straight bows. Ultimately, however, using straight bows is a mere matter of possessing and understanding of how to move your right arm correctly. So to do straight bowings you will need a mirror in which to observe your bowing, so you might want a, a kind of a, a big one. You'll need a good bow hold, so perhaps see some of my previous videos to find the bow hold. You will need to observe your bow strokes in front of the mirror. You will need time. So time to allow your body to fully process and understand the information. And you will need to acknowledge the importance of using straight bows at all times. So how to do it? Okay, for all students at beginner, intermediate and advanced levels, Stand side onto the mirror so that you can observe your beautiful straight bows and from here just do whatever it takes to get those bows to move in a straight way. So you might find that as you move towards the tip you need to push your elbow out a little bit, perhaps. As you move towards the frog you might observe that you need to pull your elbow in a little bit. You may also find as you go towards the tip that your pinky elongates a little bit and perhaps it curls as it comes towards the frog. You may also be surprised to notice the degree of flexibility of your wrist that is required to get the straight bows. So for a beginner, perhaps play a slow scale that you're very familiar with, maybe a D major scale, and observe at every junction what is going on in your fingers, your wrist, forearm, upper arm, and see that it is resulting in the straight bows. So here's a D major scale, you also need to tilt your head towards the mirror to get this to work. For the intermediate student, perhaps you should play a scale as well and do it with fast bow strokes though, because this is a little bit more advanced, so... For the advanced students, you may wish to choose a portion of a piece that you're playing, maybe a couple of bars even is sufficient. Do it from memory, and do it in front of the mirror. Do it from memory so that you can observe all the little intricacies of the movements in your fingers, wrist and forearm, upper arm that allow you to create those straight bows. So for all of these different uh, levels, beginner, intermediate and advanced, you need to alternate between regular practice and mirror practice. Regular practice, mirror practice. And when you do the regular practice, this is very very important, you need to recall the information, that kinesthetic information that you gleaned from your mirror practice and implement it 100% of the time in your regular practice. So it will take time to develop an understanding of, of this and for your body to assume those movements automatically, but it will happen. You can do it. It takes time. So your efforts will be real, well rewarded, however, because you'll be able to make this gorgeous, amazing, full sound that you only ever dreamed of before. 
So thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions at all, please feel very welcome to comment below.